I know you guys are absolutely utterly dumbfounded that I got sidetracked from our goals today. It never happens to me. Never, ever. And if you'll buy that, I got some oceanfront property for sale here in Colorado. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am uh, the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to go do some more uh, questing and adventuring. Uh, one goal that I have in particular is to go to here to get these well blocks um, and see, you know, uh, see what those look like. And then what we might do, uh, we might maybe try and... You know, I'll open up this area here. I got some stuff to do up to the north and a few things to do down uh, to the south here. But uh, I want to kind of, I, I want to do some more uh, building before we kind of finish the game, at least in terms of, you know, the, um, you know, finishing all the rest of the quests and uncovering the rest of the map. Oh, actually, we need to go here too because there's some blocks there. So let's uh, so let's go after these blocks here and after these blocks here, and then we'll kind of see how things go. But I'd like to kind of get started, if possible, um, on the basement in the latter part of this episode, uh, where we're going to set up some rooms for our craftspeople. Um, I haven't completely decided this yet, but I may not uh after all i may not build a new base in another location for the rest of this series um i have some grand plans for a big build up on this cliff that we have um that i showed you guys a while back where the hell is that place at <laughs> did, I, did, did i pull it what did i pull it off Oh, no, it's hidden behind this flame sanctum. Yeah, uh, up on this cliff here. But uh, I am, you know, I, I am 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to be doing another playthrough of this game. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it immediately or I might wait until they come out with the next big update. But when that time comes, my plan will be to, um, you know, to build a really big, nice base and a, and a farm and, you know, or a huge garden and so forth in that location. But because we're really, you know, nearing the end of the game here, I'm not sure that it makes a lot of sense for me to do that in this series. So I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, it is my plans to do that, but probably not in this series. It'll probably be in the next series. Um, there's also a possibility, too, that... Um, uh, uh, we may be doing a multiplayer server in my Discord community. Um, and by the way, if that's something that you're interested in participating in, uh, come and join the Discord. You can find the link to it uh, in the About section of the YouTube channel. Um, and if that's the case, then you know that then then I might actually do a multiplayer series. But that isn't for sure yet. So we're also we're kind of in the Discord. We're kind of trying to decide, you know, what what we want to do for our next multiplayer server. Um, uh, Another one that we may end up doing is Myth of Empires, which is a game I actually like and did play until, you know, they, they had to shut it down for the legal reasons. Uh, so that's another possibility, too. But anyway, um, yeah, so all of you should know by now, by the time that you're seeing uh, this video, uh, that I have uh, rebranded the channel. I've changed my name uh, that, you know, that was previously Old Guy Gaming, and now it's uh, The Bearded OG. Um, and I have, you know, put out a... A channel update video explaining all of that and most of you have probably seen that but in case you haven't uh, it is up on the channel for anybody to see that's interested um so yeah all right enough of that stuff let's um let's go ahead and get rolling here and we're gonna we want to go find those two building blocks and then we're gonna come back home and work on spiffing up our basement for our crafts people um so let's go ahead and i guess we'll travel to this location first and we're gonna we're we're heading to uh, up to that fort fortification place because we're supposed to be able to find some blocks up there. At least that's what they tell me. Okay. And I'm gonna leave this here for now. But once we you know once we find that stuff, you know then we'll be good to go. 
We have another crypt here. Um, we could uh, we could run down here real quick and just see what's in here. Oh, by the way, I did go ahead and decide to switch to the spiked bow. It's only a common bow, but it it does like ten more damage than my ignited bow, um, and it has thirty three percent arrow speed. The downside is that it has a one second draw speed, so it takes a little bit longer to draw it, but you just can't beat the power and the speed of this bow, so um, I'm, I'm using it for the time being. Okay. So we'll just quickly, you know, get to the end of this crypt. Ho well, hopefully quickly. The last time I did one of these crypts, it didn't take that long. And you know what I need to do, too, is I need to start... Uh, I need to start dismantling books when I come across them, because we're going to need to make some books for our alchemist once we get his room set up. Okay, let's head on down through here. I'm not going to spend a ton... Oh, shit! I'm not going to spend a ton of time, you know, gathering a bunch of books right now, but it'll probably be one of those situations where it's an off-camera thing. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and pop one of these, so that way I don't have to keep switching out my torch. Okay, so we have a couple doors there. We got an explosive barrel there. And yeah, something to loot back here. Okay. Well, okay, we could either go straight or right. I'm thinking let's go right. Well, I guess we don't need to break that door. That appears to bring us back up to the top here. Looks like there's another bad guy right straight ahead here. This is not the same exact location, though, that we were in before. So I think... Oh, yeah, okay, so that's where we fell through the floor. Gotcha, okay. Um, so let's go left then. We have a cave of some sort in here and something up here. Oh, it's a chest. Nice. An infernal wand for 37 damage. This is a 47. So, yeah, we won't... Uh, not likely we're going to find anything in here that's better than what we already have. Oh, I just blinked right into an enemy there. That wasn't so smart. All right, let's give ourselves a squirt of heal here. All right, so we came that. Uh, yeah, we came through there. So let's go this way. Good lord. Okay. All right, we got a button here. Some scrap, a middle to loot. Down what you say. Uh, I was, my, my brain and mouth weren't cooperating, sorry, sorry about that. I went, meant to say down with you all, and down with the sickness at all the, at the same time, and it came out with down with this, <laughs> can't take me anywhere, man. Oh, you guys know that by now, don't you? Don't you? Uh, I'm not drunk. Well, I don't think I am anyways. I might have had a few drinks. It's Saturday night, so look at that, gold chest. Composite bow. Um, it's a nice bow, but doesn't even come close to being as good as that. Um, and probably 
maybe as good as this one if I upgraded it. Piercing, yeah. Nah, I don't think so. I think we'll go ahead and just salvage that. Uh, all right, is there anything back here? We got that button. Oh, that's what those buttons were for. Okay, gotcha. Um, was that like the main loot? How the hell did this door get open? Oh yeah, okay, this was the room. Okay, I guess I think that's it then. Okay, so we need to get over to hither. Um, well, I don't, don't think we're going to get there from this direction because that goes down into the shroud. So let's just keep running around this way. What the hell was that? What's that noise? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I swear I've only had eight bears. No, not eight bears. I haven't had eight bears. I've had maybe three. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. Okay. Is is that a shroud route down there? No, because it doesn't show up on the map. Oh, maybe that's where we gotta go. Hmm. No, let's let, let's not go down there unless we determine that we can't get over there any other way. Which I think we can, going this direction. This is new territory. I haven't been over here yet. Alright, I'm starting to think maybe this thing is down in the shroud. We've got a tent here. Let's see what this has to say. A mining rift. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nothing significant inside this tent. I don't know why they put that up here. It needs to be, you know, halfway down into the shroud where it's actually useful. This kind of reminds me of climbing down into the salt mines. Little baby bugs. Hmm. Oh, this is tin. Okay. Don't think we really need any more of that. At least not right now. Bugaboos all over the place. Okay, um, I don't know how long we're going to be down in the shroud. So why don't we pot up here and uh, also buff up. Okay. the yuckety yuck. There's a chest. A mystic hat, level 18. Okay, probably not something we're interested in. I am tentatively planning on doing a magic build, though, when I do do my next playthrough. Unless I, you know, do that in the multiplayer uh, series if we do decide to do multiplayer on this game. There is a shroud root there. How come it didn't show up on the thing? Huh, that's odd. I thought they showed up on the map even when you haven't found them yet. Guess I should just probably be ranging these guys. Oh, for Pete's sake, get the hell out of here. Very nice. All right, do we have any points? We have one point. Oh, uh, we could give ourselves some more health. 
piercing damage. Attack with a melee weapon, your critical hit chance increased by 10%. That's actually really good. Uh, but that's four points, so yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait. Or I I, I want to wait, rather. I don't have to, but hmm. Alright, let's go down here. Uh oh. This is one of those slide down and can't get back out thingies. This is quite the extensive uh, underground shroud cave here. I don't see any uh, grappling hook thingies. Okay, let's go. Let's go down deeper, because why not? That's what you do in situations like these, is you just go deeper in. There's some more tin down here. Baby bug. This leads us outside into the shroud, but we are a long ways away. Wait a minute. I thought we were supposed to find a, a building block. Okay, it's back in the, in the mine somewhere. Ah, yes, there's a chest. Okay. Come on, get off it. Knight chest plate, level 18. Okay. And yeah, we'll take it. Here's the thing. New lore page, Revelwood. Pike Meads reach a uh, Pike Meads reaches ability to admit more cargo for repairs has ceased. We must retain the overdue parcel until further notice. I placed it on the crane platform. Ah uh ah! -huh. Crane platform. Okay. I think I know where we got to go now. Ooh. I should kill those guys. You guys are telling me in the comments that the mushroom dudes will um, drop the ammonia glands uh, even before you kill them. Like when you shoot at them, they drop them. Yeah, I think if you shoot the the um, little sack thingies on the side, they drop them. I was out of arrows there. Oops. That's not good. Pay attention, OG. Okay, so, yeah, look at that. Cool. Okay, so they drop the ammonia glands when you shoot them. That's awesome, because then we can get extra glands off of them. Yeah, there it is. I see it. Wow, what about you screwing around, man? Me forever to get here. Um, okay, how do we get over there? Like that. There we go. Castle wall stone block. Nice. So we'll take that back to the base to see what it looks like. Okay. Um, so we got that taken care of. I want to. Uh, let's. Let's see if we can get up to this waypoint really, or this shrine really quick. Just. Just to be a completionist, if it's, um, looks like it's going to be a major pain in the ass, though, I won't continue on, but let's just run over there real quick and see what happens. There's also something over here, too. Oh, it's a waypoint. Dead chickens. I have a feeling like it might be up on that cliff. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it is going to be. Let me look at the map here. Eh, maybe not. Let's just keep going up this trail. Is there like um a, a bed we could sleep in? Just so we can make it daylight. I saw a greenie over here. Look at this trap floating up on the on the road there. There he is right over there. There's another one right over there. We'll sneak because, you know, this orb of light that's following us around, that's not going to give away our position at all. Nah. These are video games, man. That kind of thing doesn't happen in video games. Okay, kill the archer first. One shot at him. Where are you going, man? Alright, let's No, god damn it. Stop it! I go to try and jump off of there and he jumps on the ladder. It's daytime. All right, nice. Okay, well, I guess we don't need to find a bed now. Since we're in this little village, though, let's just see if there's a chest somewhere. Does this place have a name? Nope. It's just the no-name village. That's hacks. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Probably rats or something down here. Lots of books and... Oh, I thought that was an elixir. Here we go. Um, yeah, let me just dismantle these really quick. Because you know how, uh, uh, what, what the hell's our alchemist's name? Starts with a B. Bal Balshazar or something like that. <laughs> He's going to want a lot of books. Balthazar, that's his name. Now there's a bed we could have slept in. Okay. Um, we're 126 meters away from the flame thingy, and I think this is it right here. I know you guys are absolutely, utterly dumbfounded that I got sidetracked from our goals today. It never happens to me. Never, ever. And if you'll buy that, I got some oceanfront property for sale here in Colorado. I'll give you a good deal on it, too. Uh, okay, let's see here. So we got that flame shrine done. The other place is this elixir well here. But I think what I'm going to do is go home, drop stuff off, repair, etc., etc., and then we'll teleport over to the uh, altar that we have over there and then go south. We might not get to building in this episode after all. We'll see. If we don't, then I promise you I'll do everything in my power uh, to do it in the next episode. Okay, what am I doing? I'm going this uh, this way. 
get lost in my own house. Okay, while we're here, let's just go um, hop in to that golden chest and see what kind of fat loots we can get. Oh, wow, look at that. All right, so this is a level 25 legendary bow with 20% arrow speed, six draw speed. It's definitely gonna be an improvement over this once we upgrade it. Piercing Shroud Reaping, what does that mean? It says something about defeat an enemy to gain a stamina regeneration buff, I think. Head Seeker, five stamina retaliation. Incoming, 20% of incoming damage is dealt back to, are you kidding me, 20%? Damn! Wow! Okay. <laughs> that is nice. We'll have to go back and um, upgrade this. In fact, what the hell? Let's do it now. I'm, I'm, this might actually be better. I mean, it, it is already better in some ways, but I mean, even if we can get its base damage close to the, to the bone bow I'm using, we're switching to this one. Uh, okay. So, let's go talk to you. Ah, so it didn't change its base damage at all. But still, my goodness, 20% of incoming damage? I I don't know, you guys. I think I'm going to I'm going to think I'm going to use this and then we'll make this our backup bow and then we'll melt this one down. I, that 20%, I can't pass that up. That's just too good. In fact, it's like incredibly OP if you ask me. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. Cool. Okay. We are back. Uh, let's head south. We're going to stop back off in East Lapis. Um, because a, f a little bit further into the town, I think there's a tower with... A gold chest that we never got to the last time we were here just because we were you know we were after the loom and we didn't really do the whole town I'm gonna try and avoid some of these guys anyways just in the interest of time I thought there was a place high up that had some loot Would it maybe be in that tower over that way? That was handy. It might, it might be in this, in this tower over here. Well, there's a silver chest up here. All the defiance, and we got a thingy. Uncle Dreadbane. East Lapis is quickly becoming a ruined city. Famine and drought plague us. Thankfully, Uncle Dreadbane, as Sadie calls him, has taken us in for the time being, although his blessing may be a curse in disguise. He carries the hammer everywhere he goes, hunched from the weight. I always hear him in the hallways dragging it around, huffing. It's for protection, he says. They crawl below. I hear them from the hollow core. It's downright creepy. We need hope, not horror stories. He went to fetch water from the well nearby, but it's been hours and I'm worried. I'd go and check, but I think, I hate to admit it, but I think I hear it too. The crawl below. All right. He went to a well. Um, let's go over to that tower over there. Hmm, I don't see anything up here.
Okay. Did uh, did that give us a new quest? Yeah, rumble and... Oh, and that gives us a new block, too. You found a letter which mentions mysterious catacombs. Reach the underground cemetery and investigate the entry. All right, well, since we're after blocks, right? Uh, wait a second. That's way the hell back over there. We were just in those catacombs, weren't we? Oh, maybe not. Uh, I'm confused now. Skimmer's Cove, the Pike. No, we were over here before. I think. Yeah, because that's the Pike. This is all the way back in the Springlands. Okay, what is the block supposed to be? It doesn't tell us what kind of block it is, but some kind of stone block. Okay, well, we'll have to hit that one up later. I, I don't want to go back in the spring lens right now. I'm going to stay here. Um, okay, so... It's possible that... That building way over there could have some loot in it. And this uncle that she was talking about went down a well. All right, let's, um, let's move over this direction. Wait, this was the Weaver's place, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, get out, get out of here, get out of the way. We don't have time for you. I don't think we went in this building here, though. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> nice place to put a ladder. Damn it, Jim. We'll just go the long way around. Not that there's... Looks like there's much reason to go here. Well, they got a bathtub on the roof. If there's anything in that tower over that way lots of uh, guard dudes on the wall you know what though this looks like a castle up here let's go this way the tin mine ouch There's a chest in here. Oh, shit. Uh, if I had a dime for every time I've stepped in those damn things. Oh, shit. Okay. I want to have him hit me. Hmm. It did, that didn't seem like it did 20% damage to him. Um, did I misread that? 20% of incoming damage is dealt back to the attacker. His health was low enough to where I would have thought he would have killed himself, but he didn't, so I don't know. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Oh, he's a level 25. Max level greenie. Dangerous. All right, let's try this again. Hawk gloves, level 23. Stamina depletion, climbing, and range damage. Hmm. Okay. Somewhat useful, maybe, I guess.
Ocean's Heart. This looks like a boss. Yep, boss arena. Okay, let's um make like a tree and leaf. Too many bad guys around. Okay. Get out of here, bugs. Oh shit, that's a lot of bugs. Did the boss go back in here? Damn it, Jim. I was kicking my ass. Okay. There's a boss down there. There's a chest. There's another chest. Elder Staff, level 25, 47 power. Uh, you know what? This is actually, once upgraded, better. Increases mana regeneration by one. I don't know. I'll, I'll hang on to it and look at it later. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I'm just trying to see. Oh, there's a chest and also a grappling hook thingy down there. So tough, man. Look how much she's resisting me. Need to get in a where I can get a better aim at her. Oh shit! <laughs> Well, that'll give me better aim. Can enemies open doors? Like humanoid enemies? Oh. Alright, let's... I'm trying to see if I can get up on this guardrail so I can not do that. Alright, you know what? No, this is not a time for greenies. Of course, there's never a good time for greenies. Ah! That was hacks. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, God, that was lucky. Oh, that's not lucky. Oh man, what a comedy of errors. Oh, jeez. Okay. The bad thing is that the boss is now going to reset because we left the area. But, uh, you know, she has the potential to drop something really good, so we got to kill her. And we got to do it, you know, as a matter of principle, anyways. percent damage bullshit's working. I see no evidence of that taking place. I wonder if it's bugged. Let's 
kill the dogs here. How many arrows do I have? 235? Okay. Let's get rid of the trash. Yeah, she's completely reset. I love those double shots. Got her. Whew. Okay. What do we get? Oh, highly polished stone block. Very nice. Okay. We'll take it. More stuff for building. Fantastic. So you see, this episode's actually turning out to net us some building blocks anyways, even though the way that I've gone about it hasn't been quite what you know we had planned, but hey, as long as as long as we get the job done, right? Alright. Let's grab this chest here. these guys all right what's in here where'd you come from there's chests all over in this place that door just go outside or does it go into another room? Yeah, it just goes outside. Oh, look at this. Nice. Got tons of uh, scrap metal. Let's see what's in here. Nothing significant. That I can see. There's a scroll and a dude. All right, what's this have to say? Survival depends on me. I am consumed with worry. It's one thing to mobilize an army, quite another to move entire towns across Embervale. And yet, I am queen of the Kindlewastes, and my kingdom relies on my steadfast leadership. We must light out for other lands, seek fertile pastures, find safety. Tomorrow, I will give orders to evacuate and form a caravan to Longkeep. I fear my voice will betray me, shake and quiver. I will pu push through for Mother. We'll head into a land of fern and moss, lush greenery, emerald horizons, and yet I see only darkness. Will my brother, Vorgoth, have the same idea? I cannot bear to face him after what he did to Gormander. My nightmares are drenched in scarlet. Still, I hear his voice, and it's unkind. Changed. I must rest. A big day awaits. Okay, I have not until now made the connection that Vorgoth is Jasmina's brother. I did not know that. I'm sure I probably read something earlier that said that, but this is the first time I am realizing that. So now I have been edified. I'm smarter than I was before. That's interesting. Can we get in here? Anything up here? Hmm. So, what's the purpose of coming up here then? I don't know. Maybe to get away from the boss or something? Okay, well, I think our work here is done. Um, there's still. Let's look at the map here. That's probably the thing that, you know, the well that they wanted us to go look at, but 
I, I think I want to go do this elixir well and get these blocks. We, we can always come back to East Lapis again. Um, you know, there's nothing that says we, we, don't, we can't, right? So let's set that as the waypoint and we'll head in that direction. Except for that it's getting dark. So we might as well sleep. And then we'll head out in the morning. I just need to find a bed that doesn't have a skeleton on it and that's not broken. All right. It's dawn and we are heading towards a uh guess we can't get anywhere down there. An a well, an elixir well and a a new block. I don't have a ton of arrows, so hopefully we have enough to get the job done. Let's also uh, buff up here. So I'm assuming we probably just follow this trail here. There's some iron. Go away, bugs. This is a spiral trail down into the depths of the shroud. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well blocks are right over that way, it says. some kind of structure up there. Let's grab the saffron. One thing I noticed about the saffron is it takes a long time to grow. Uh, all right, are we... Oh no, it says the well blocks are back that way. Okay, well, since we're here, let's just run up here really quick. See if there's anything to see. Looks like that's blocked off by terrain. Well, we got to the top. It just goes back that way. Question is, is there anything up here? Or is this just a, a way to get up topside real quick? Maybe that's all it is. All right, well, we need to go this way. No, not that way. What does the matter with me? I was pointing towards the wrong waypoint. Rose Shell Burrow. Oh, there's like little forms down there. Oh, this is cool. Dreaming. My family and I spent the better part of, year, uh, of a year searching for this land. I knew when I found just the right fertile soil, but I wasn't satisfied. And then one day we came over this ridge, and I saw the way the saplings sprouted. I could taste the nutrients in the dirt on the tip of my finger. That first season, my father was worried I'd made the wrong choice. But when the wheat came in and we had bread for the winter and money in his pocket... He told me how proud he was. However, I outgrew the farm. I have packed my things and plan to open my own tavern in Brittlebush. And I could not be more excited to share my talent for cooking with travelers from far and wide. Before I leave, my mother wishes to send me off with a gift. I wonder what it could be. Emily Frey. Oh, that's our Emily. All right, cool. Um, What is that? Grapple plant seedling at seedbed. A grapple plant. Okay. Uh, I wonder what we use that for. I don't know, but uh, since that is new, we're going to pick it all. At first I thought those were tomatoes, but then I looked a little more closely and realized, wait a minute, that doesn't look like a tomato. Tomato. 
Maybe Emily will tell us what they are when we get back. Huh. Okay. Good. We need more of those. Aha! Uh -huh. I bet you there's something behind here. What do we got? Level 23 hatchet. Okay. In other words, we have runes. Does it tell us what this does? A resilient herb growing in the harsh Candlewaste climate. Spiritualists are known to use it for mystical purposes. All right, if you say so. just so many places to explore. Oh shit! I'm gonna melee these guys so we can save our arrows. I oh, didn't do such a good job of parrying him. Let's go back down here. What? What do you want me to loot? Oh, nails. Okay. Nitrate. Man, it's like a labyrinth down here. This must have been Emily's bathroom. Alright. Let's go. I think this is the way out. Oh, this is a different... Room. There's a chest. Got an experience scroll. Okay, I'm thinking this is the way we want to go. Back into this room. How the hell do we get out of here? Here we go. There's something in here. It's just basic stuff. Okay, let's get back on track here. We want to basically go right. Yeah, straight ahead there. Uh, how are we doing on stuff? I think we're in pretty good shape. This buzzer's going to want to mix it up with us. I'm just trying to. Oh, wow. They're pretty susceptible to shock damage. Look at that. I'm just trying to save my arrows, like I said. Yeah, those blocks are going to be down in the shroud for sure. Is it? Uh, hmm. Be nice to get to that spire, but one thing I notice about spires is they can be a lot further away than they might first appear. Why did I do that? Yeah, 
we're at the well. I wonder if we find the the block in the well, but actually it seems to indicate the blocks are over this way. In a very small area right over here. Uh Oh, you know what? I'll bet you they're underground. That's probably where they are. Okay. Oh, there's my buddy. One of you guys asked me in the comments recently why I don't just wand this guy. And my answer is that he's actually kind of fun to melee. Um, or... You know, oh, shit. Yeah, he's the guy I want to stay away from. He's kind of fun to, you know, to melee or to blink by and then shoot in the back with the arrow. But the answer is because it's fun to fight him. That's that's really the answer. This is a pretty powerful one, considering I don't really have. You know, I'm not really expecting that. Does a respectable job, man. If I had a few more arrows, I'd do my normal fight on this guy, but... Ah! I'll just zap him. Stuck in the menu. Okay, let's get this parte started here. Okay, so the shroud roots over this way. I don't know what kind of monster we're gonna have to fight down here. We're gonna find out though. Oh, it's going to be a, uh, I can't remember what the hell they're called. You know, the things with the big maw, because whenever you see these petrified people, fell monstrosity, I think that's what it's called. So yeah, that'll be fun. Here, let's do this. Get that bug nest before the bugs get out. Oh shit! This, uh, the layout of this well is very similar to one I did a lot earlier on where I fell in the frickin' uh, um, hole with all the, the gobbledygook in it. You, you got these guys and they just still have a sliver of health left and they end up kicking your ass. Alright. Oh shit, I keep hitting the wrong button. I don't want to use up all my potions because we kind of need those for when things hit. When we need fast heals. Alright. chest. Okay. We 
have 154 poisoned arrows. Okay. Oh, I missed my my merciless attack there. I don't use that real often because half the time when I'm thinking about using it, it's not it doesn't seem to proc. Oh. I didn't. Kind of hard to see because everything is just kind of blue and muckety muck down here. to deal with a bunch of ads. Wait a minute. Is there not going to be a fell monstrosity down here? Unless it's way on the other side of the thingy there. Alright, well. Might as well get rid of this. Oh, it's around. I see the I see the thingy for it. Oh, there it is. Well, hello, fell monstrosity. It's nice to meet you. I've only... I think I've only fought this... No, I fought these... Fought it twice. Okay. I'm just not used to all its moves, but not that it matters. We're taking it out quick. down. What do we get? Spellbinder boots. Okay. Alright, so we just have to find the uh, chest that has the well blocks in it. Wherever that may be. I think it's reasonable to assume that it's going to be over this direction. Oh. Trying, to, trying to get the red bug to blow up and oh shit that hurt us big time. Ah. Here, we better take a some other healing. These guys are on me. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to take this potion. I don't want to take any chances here. Oh! Is this where our block is? Get out of here. Okay, I guess we have done a lot more damage to them than I thought. Got a pine short bow. Level 25 with 35 power. Um, but only 7% arrow speed. So this has a lot of power like the bone bow. But the arrow speed is way, way slower. So we're just gonna salvage that. I don't I don't understand why the devs don't let us salvage armor. There we go, well blocks. Those are kind of cool looking. We'll have to check those out in the light. Um, yeah, I mean, why the hell can't we salvage armor, and but we can do weapons? It's, I mean, it's not like I need, I, I have any kind of a shortage of runes, but still, you know, it just doesn't make sense more than anything else. All right, guys, well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Um, so the plan for the next episode will be that... What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go down here first thing and get this other block. Um yeah, rumble in the catacombs. So that we ha we have yet another block to work with, but the catacombs are, you know, they don't take that long. 
And I won't, you know, there's nothing else that's going to squirrel me because I just don't get squirreled that easy. <laughs> now, seriously, though, um, not likely anything in, in Revelwood's going to squirrel us because we've already done the Revelwood thing, you know. Um, and then the plan will be to do some interior design in the next episode uh, with, you know, we'll get our, our basement rooms uh, built for our our crafts people. Am I missing something over here? Probably. And work on uh, other interior design in the house. Like, I haven't really done anything to speak of in my bedroom since our last building episode. So, that is the plan. I just want to run around the corner here. Before I let you guys go. Oh, shit. You know what? We're, uh... We need to replenish our buff food. Let's just run around the corner here real quick. There might be something over here. Like an exploding bug, for example. Yeah, there is another chest over there. Let's get rid of this. Oh. Die already. Iron arrows. Okay. Metal star mace, level 47. Or 47 damage, rather, not level 47. And then this should take us back up to the... Exit, I'm thinking. You know what though? Oh shit. Let's let's actually go back down to the where the route was, because then we can just teleport right out of there. Okay, so yeah. Uh so thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.